Yo, what's going on YouTube? Back in today with another video. Hope you're all doing well. So today we're going to talk a little bit about me being absent. Where have I been? What have I been up to? Where have I been? I've been grafting. And unfortunately, not gamer wise. <laughs> so basically guys, um, I started this channel as most of you have been following me since day one and I do appreciate it. But I started this channel a little over five months ago, I think. I started the first video was on the day of my birthday, March 11th. So I think that's like five months ago. It's close enough to it. And I've been releasing content. I mean, we're, I've released over 100 videos, which um, I didn't think I'd actually be that consistent. But I released over 100 videos. I'm on like 120 something videos. I think that counts by the live streams. I, I know they're still videos, but anyway. So yeah. I've been consistent with it. I've uploaded daily. I've uploaded, if not daily, every second or third day. But I was looking through my channel a while ago and I was like, damn, it's been five days since I uploaded. And why has that been? You might be wondering. And a few of you have texted us when I reached out asking if everything's alright and where, have I, where am I at and where have I been? So basically, I went back to work. I got up off my lazy ass and went back to work, boy. <laughs> yeah, so we'll take you through it. Um, I was going to do a separate video on this, but I feel like I'll try to get it all in this video and not make it too long. So basically, October last year, I had like an accident at work, like an injury. So basically, I was up on a scaffolding and I was up approximately about 25 feet to 30 feet high where the planks like beneath me just literally, get, they just gave out and I dropped from 25 feet, 30 feet that way, straight to the floor, landed on my back. It was a very, very scary experience. Um, I literally, like, as it was going down, thought I was, like, dead, because, like, that, that's, like, you can die from, like, a 10-foot fall. I literally thought I was dead, and when I hit the ground, and, like, after, like, two minutes when I came around, I literally thought I was paralyzed because I had tried getting up and I could not move but it was just I was so winded and in so much pain I just literally couldn't move so after like five minutes I got helped up and I realized okay we're not paralyzed okay that is a good thing obviously man if like it, that could have been the case or worse and basically went to the hospital that day got checked out got an extra and everything and weirdly enough from that fall in such an impact I didn't break any bones or fracture anything but as weeks went by I don't know I could like I could actually barely like walk and get out of bed and stuff like things were actually like hard like normal daily tasks were hard for me to do so I looked into it further I went and got an MRI and it came up that I had a bulge disc in my spine I think it's like your T9 spine or something like that but basically like, it, the pain was constant for the first, like, month or two. Like, it was always there. And it kind of still is, but it's after, like, wearing off a bit. But it was there for the first month or two, like, non-stop pain. And then it kind of, like, mellowed down. Basically, then I was only getting the pain on my back when I would, like, try lifting something heavy. Or if I tried, like, bending over, lifting something up. So just putting pressure on my back literally would have hurt it. So... Then coming into this year, I picked up bikes, decided to do YouTube, thinking, okay, let's try to make a living out of YouTube because I honestly wasn't too sure if I could ever work again, just because of the way I never had back problems and just because of the way my back was, I honestly didn't know if I'd ever get back to work. And then on March the 11th, the day of my birthday of this year, I uploaded my first video, as I think I said earlier. And we've been at it ever since, but this week, or sorry, last week I've been absent a lot. I mean, it's been five days since I uploaded the video. And so that kind of answers your question right there, is because I went back to work. And it's very, like, I know people are like, oh yeah, but you work, you can still upload videos. But basically what I work as is a builder, like a mason, you might know it is, or a block layer, or a brick layer. Literally, I just build houses. And it's very, very hard to graft, because here in Ireland, we don't, like, very rarely you'll build houses over here out of bricks it's always concrete blocks and like lifting concrete blocks all day every day five days a week from like 7 a.m to 4 30 p.m 
does take a toll on your body. I mean, put it this way, motocross is one of the toughest sports in the world. How I would feel after two days of riding, I feel after one day of work, just to put it in perspective a little bit, it is literally so hard on your body. I mean, it's not for everybody. It's a tough, tough, tough trade. There is tough or trades out there, but it's certainly the most toughest thing I've ever done. But I like it. it. It is something that I like doing. It just, I don't know, man. You build, like, you build a wall, you build a house, and you look at it, you're like, whoa, I done that. You pass it in years to come, you're like, I remember building that. You know, I t like, I have a little kid. I tell him about it. You know, I just like it. It's like an art in itself. But, so, basically, like, I, I'm just trying to get, like, I'm kind of getting back into the outside world. I'm basically, like, so, at work five days a week, I have a little kid and a fiancé, so I have a family. So lately, I try fit in work, try fit in time with my kid and my fiance, and I try fit in YouTube. And to do all them things in seven days, I mean seven days sounds like a lot of time, but when I'm working five days a week, the two days I've off, I try to spend it with the family. And in trying to fit in YouTube with that, it, it is very difficult. Like my dream was to hopefully of got like basically to get monetized on youtube to get paid i need a thousand subscribers and i need four thousand watch hours now my watch hours actually are far off of what i need to get paid but the subs are, is a bit off so i've like 254 and i need a thousand within a year you've a year to do it i'm like five months in so i've never like what seven months but I don't know, man. It's just I couldn't, like, you know, stick around for another seven months just hoping and praying that would happen. But don't get me wrong. If it did, I probably would have stuck with YouTube and used that as, like, my actual job. Who knows? In the next seven months, if that comes about, YouTube could be my full-time job. <laughs> but for now, I have to go back out, man, and just make money, support my family and whatnot, now that I can. So that's basically where I have been. I've been missing, and that is why. But, so the goal and the plan is, I, like, weekends, like, we still have aerial going on. I know to take a week break, I think it's back this Friday. I would obviously live stream that, as I always do. Um, but just uploading the videos, you have seen it, and you will see it. There'll be a, dec a decrease in it. I just won't be as consistently uploading as I was. Yep. Just because, I don't even play, but, like, man, I play, like, I think the last day I played bikes was... Friday and that was just for a fun race so I hopped back off you know because I had to do something with the famine it's just it's, it's it's tough boys it's tough like you see the younger youtubers they upload every day because they're they've kind of no responsibilities on school and they might just be finished school and whatnot and then you see the um, older youtubers uploading every day but that's because the monetize they get paid for it is their job where I don't get paid for it so for me to upload if I was getting paid, obviously I could upload a lot more, just because I get paid to do it, you know, so it's obviously like, oh, I need money, I need to upload. But I'll still upload just for, like, fun and for you, because obviously you enjoy it, because you have been inquiring where I have been. So I thought I'd give you an update. But, um, we will, I'll keep it going, I have said it time and time again, I'm not going to be like them YouTubers, I'll be like, oh, okay, I'm not going to make it, I'm never going to grow, I'm going to quit. I have people who actually enjoy the channel and those people I will keep doing it just for your enjoyment and entertainment. Um, what else do I want to tell you? Do, do, do. I don't know. I don't know. I've been missing that long and I kind of can't have anything to say. <laughs> but yeah, um, I mean, so we will live stream obviously Friday coming for Ariel as I said and I have done recently public lobbies like live streams is which i'm gonna do that actually went well surprisingly i didn't think it would go that well and holy for a boy who's only played like once in the last mm, seven days i'm only two seconds off my quickest lap time go on son Whoop, cut on the track okay i'll take this line yeah so that's where it's at and also guys i now this is where like obviously an opinion would matter so do comment on what you think i was thinking of doing like not so much a podcast, but like, you know, for IRL races like MAs and GPs, I talk about them. So I'd play this game where I talk about them, maybe live stream and we can talk about it together and whatnot. If it's something you're interested in. 
just talk about how this how the racing's going to IRL and whatnot. Just, just you know, just support the motocross community. That's what it's all about. I mean, there's too much hate with like YouTubers. They're like, you know, just hating on each other, or their like ego is too big or whatnot. They don't want to support other YouTubers. And Matt, I'll support who I can in motocross, NMX bikes, IRL, whatnot, because at the end of the day, you're just growing the motocross community. So I, I I'm all for supporting people. But yeah, guys, that's. That is my story and where I'm at right now. But I have not forgot about you. I mean, you probably thought I have. And you were like, where is this boy gone? He, he just loved us and left us. And never to be seen again. But here I am. <laughs> but yeah, I guess, I mean, I don't know. It, that's just it. It's like, it's just, it's just difficult, man. Just to grind, like, the game. Grind the videos and work and look after the family and so on. You know, it is hard. Like, one guy, like, uh, Reaper Doc who I believe most of you will know Reaper Doc. He has, I'm not sure if it's like his wife or whatnot. I know they're together, but I don't know if they're like married or whatnot, but he basically will say he's a girlfriend or fiance or a wife, whatever it is, one of the three and his kids as well. So I can kind of like, how to say, I can kind of respect his grind because I kind of know what's up. Like I know it's hard to like do that when you have a family and whatnot, but he does get paid from it. So obviously he works from home and it works out good for him, but props to him. I mean, it's not easy by any means to get paid off of YouTube because like <laughs> you, uh, there is a thing you can like buy subscribers and buy views, but what's the point? You're literally just like, you're like living off of fake like accounts basically. So we want the real ones, but the channel hasn't been going that bad, man. I mean, in the five months, so I hit, well, I hit like 10k views. You would say a month, because I have 50,000 views altogether in five months. So that's like 10, I'm averaging about 10k views a month, which which isn't actually so bad. It's actually better than I thought. So I'm kind of pumped on that. And my watch hours, they're heading for, they're heading for the thousand. So I have another 3,000 to go, but we'll see, we'll see. Rome was built today, we'll see what we can do. But I will keep with it. And you'll never know what the future might hold. We might get paid one day from it. But if not, I'll still keep with it regardless. And we just have fun. And me yapping here all the time. I'm actually surprised. I'm kind of, it's weird. Normally, like, I'm talking and I keep crashing because I'm not concentrating properly. And now that I haven't played in so long, it feels like I don't even need to concentrate that much. I can actually just talk and rip. Which is, just as I said, I'm nearly dead. Which is kind of sick. But yeah, guys, I mean, that's where it's at. Just wanted to give you a little update. I don't want to like raffle on and be like, "Oh, my life is so hard." No, my God, it's not that. I'm not like I'm not putting up these videos for like sympathy or anything. I'm literally just telling you like where I've been at for ye who care. So, oh my God, front tuck at his finest. MX bikes slash front tucks. I love the game, but I'll tell you one thing. When I was playing this game, every it. I hate this game. <laughs> when I was playing this game every day, no, I didn't like begin to hate it, but I actually did get very, very, very frustrated with it. I mean, you probably heard it in my voice in some videos. I was like, I would just, I, li I listened to them back and I'm like, holy, I actually sounded down. It wasn't even that I was down so much, it was just because uh, the game was frustrating me and I didn't actually find the fun doing them laps. Just putting that out there. But now that I haven't played regularly, I actually find it fun. You know, like the front tucks happen, I don't even care. Because I haven't played in ages. I'm gonna put it down to I'm rusty. Rather than the physics, even though I know I know it's the physics as well, but you know, just doesn't frustrate me as much. Um and also guys, I'm appreciating the love and support in the TikTok. I'm nearly at two K likes and my last two videos have hit over a thousand views, which is sick. But I mean, my main um, focus is on YouTube. I do upload on TikTok, just not regularly. It's literally when a new track drops and if I start grinding it and I'm like, okay, let's hit a hot lap. I'll upload a hot lap or maybe some whips, scrubs, just something cool that will happen while I'm riding around. So if you all want to follow me on TikTok, do. I will link it yep, in the description. But yeah, YouTube is where it's at. I mean, that's my main thing. Um, one day I might switch, or not switch, I might stream on Twitch as well as YouTube. We will see. 
Um, and also, before we go, guys, I do want to say there's going to be a video coming soon. You're going to see um, progress. So I'm going to be training a boy. My Aussie friend from all the way from down under in Australia. Now, I have to get up really early just to play with him. I played with him once over, I, think, I can't even remember what day it was. I, play, I played with him one, I think it was Saturday morning. Because um, time zones are so different. When it, It's like real early for me and it gets like really late for him and whatnot. But So basically, he picked up the game last week and he plays in third person, which is sick. I, I actually give props to people who can play this game in third person because, man, I tried it and I cannot do it. It's like a different game. But basically, I'll be uploading some videos with him. And you can see his progress. And we'll do a few live streams and whatnot. But he is getting better. He is... I played with him on GP games back in the day. So it's kind of sick that he has come over. But he started off on this game and he was, I was lapping him and whatnot. And then I was noticing, I was like, whoa. I've over 500 hours and now I'm not lapping them. These are all on the beginner tracks as well. So I know it's the easier tracks. Probably on pro tracks, I'd lap him much more. But it's what it is. But, um... And now he's starting to finish like top five in public lobbies and stuff. So I mean, and he's only, I would say he's 20 hours in the game. So I think he's doing pretty good. He could be, like on uh, my son games, he was, oh my bloody god, what was that? But on my, <laughs> on my son games, he was um like rapid man. He, he was as quick as me, if not quicker. We used to battle the whole time. So much fun. So yeah. It'll be just something new, like we can see his progress as well as my progress, and just see us having fun. And also with the OJ boys, we'll be uploading. Oh my God, we've two new team members, so we will be uploading videos as well, like probably like games of bike, um, practice laps, sprint races, or sprint laps, and all that interest training and whatnot. We'll be giving giving each other advice and tips in there, so you can listen in and maybe pick up something as well. Maybe who knows. But, yeah, guys, that's where it's at. Um, I haven't forgot about you. Sorry if you thought I have. I am sorry. I will send tissue your way to dry your eyes. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, that, that's pretty much it. I mean, the video's probably about 15 minutes long by now. I have no idea. I haven't kept track of the time. But that is pretty much it. It kind of covers where I've been, what I've been at, back to work, finally. Kind of pumped in it, but body is suffering like mad. <laughs> but it is what it is. So, guys, until next time... I will catch you in the next one. Big finish for the fans. That was terrible. Peace.